All right, everybody, thanks for joining us today. Um, when I call on your name, I'll unmute you, and then you could ask your question for Coach. Um, so let's start with Mark Brennan with Fight Out State. Thank you, Greg, and Phil, thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for having me. Hey, what, what could you tell us about what you saw from Rasheed Walker on film last year, and, and what do you see as kind of his upside as a, as a young guy who's already played a lot of football? Yeah, you know, um, you know, for, he's athletic. Um, he has great feet. Um, you know, he's strong. Um, he has a great punch um, when he uses it. And, um, you know, you could tell that he's he's nasty. He tries to finish his blocks. Um, you know, for a young talent, you know, I'm excited to get him um, when he's young and, and mold him, you know, into, you know, what he what he feels like he's, you know, going to be. And, I know his goals and I'm going to do everything I can to get to his goals. So he's a, you know, he's a really good player that I'm excited to get my hands on and coach. Next up is John Petitnock, happyvalley.com. Hey, good morning, Phil. Appreciate the time and hope you and your family are doing well. Yeah, thank you. Hey, when you were hired, in addition to your coaching talent, James talked about it being a draw that you're from the region. And when that happens, the likelihood of stability increases. So along those lines, what does it mean to return to the region where you grew up? And is Penn State a place where you can see yourself staying for, you know, maybe five years or longer? Yeah, you know, for me, um, this is this was a dream for me when, you know, I was hoping to play here. Um, but now I have an opportunity to coach here. I'm from South Jersey, you know, Penn State growing up was Penn State. Everyone talked about it like it was a school to go to. So to coach here, it's it's a dream for me. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm buying a house here. I see myself staying here as long as I can and long as, you know, everything goes as planned. But, you know, I love it here. I, this is this was this was, you know, special and this is a goal. And this is where I, I could see myself being for a very long time. Uh, coach, I think I'm up. I think Greg has himself muted, but uh, good morning. Um, Caden Wallace, what made uh, what makes him a, a ideal tackle for the future? And just how close is he to, to that starting competition there at right tackle or any spot along your offensive line? Yeah, I think for him, he's versatile. I think he can play tackle. Um, and then I also think he can play guard. You know, he's massive. He's like 330 to 35, um, you know, has really good feet. He's learning the game of football. You know, his, his football IQ is getting better. Um, you know, just being able to do the meetings I, I've done with these guys. You know, he's he's a guy that's definitely um, bought in and, and wants to understand every position because I think he understands the value of that. And I think he has the ability to play anywhere on the offensive line. Um, but, you know, he's he's battling right now for, you know, a right tackle spot. And also he can he can be my sixth guy or a guy that I plug in at guard and, and tackle um, because I want guys that play everything. Um, and he's one of those guys that I can see play anywhere on the offensive line. Next up is Rich Scarcella, Reading Eagle. Good morning, Phil. Thanks for your time. Phil, in general, how difficult is it for – a fourth year offensive lineman or lineman to adjust to a new position coach and a follow-up. Um, what have you seen now that you've had a little bit more time, what have you seen from Michael Mennett uh, on film and what kind of leadership has he shown? Um, you know, he's, he's an awesome, he's definitely him and Fries are the two leaders in, in the O-line room um, just because they have the experience and guys look up to him because they've played that they played for a long time. Um, and uh, for men, and he's bought in, you know, from day one, he, he's been talking with me about technique. Um, he's been, you know, trying to ask me things and what can I do and how can I get better? And, um, you know, he's been, you know, leading extra groups, extra meetings with the offense line. Um, he's a guy that, you know, it's my third time going over to offense and installing it. And he's, he's starting all over, writing all the notes. And I think guys are looking at that and it's helping guys buy into you know what I'm preaching and and for him to be that guy it's huge if he didn't 
believe in me, then I, I know that it would be hard. So the first thing I did was build a relationship with them and made sure that those guys, the older guys believed in me. Um, and so that helps them. So, you know, when we talk about technique, he's bought in and he knows that, you know, what I've, what we've done or what I've done um, before and what I, what I'm showing them works. And that's what, you know, coaching is all about is getting them the buy-in. You know, a lot of coaches out there have many different techniques, have many different things, but at the end of the day, if you get your offense line to believe in what you do and how you do it, you'll, you'll, you'll be successful. You know, if there was a coach out there that said, Hey, just punch with one arm and all the offense line believed in it, then they, they would be the best one arm punchers in the world. But, you know, I don't teach that at D2 arm, but just getting, getting them to believe in that. And men, it's one of those guys that has, and he's been buying in. Audrey Snyder, The Athletic. Hey, Phil, thanks for your time this morning. Um, you mentioned earlier kind of a, a sixth guy in Caden as that possibility, but the guy we saw last year was Des Holmes and his ability to help out at both tackle spots. Um, what have you been able to see from Des so far, and what do you think um, is kind of necessary for him to take that next step? Yeah, um, Des, again, is one of those guys that's believing in, you know, the football IQ part, understanding the game of football. And, you know, he, uh, you know, the workouts that I saw, he was working really hard. He, he, he had, he's driven. Um, you know, he's a guy that I think can play, again, I think he could play guard and he could play tackle. Um, he could play both left and right guard and tackle. So he's a guy that can play, you know, four positions, which I think is key in the, uh, you know, developing him and being able to have that depth. So, um, you know, he's he was a sixth guy last year, but, you know, I feel like you need 10 guys to go into a game that are ready to play in all positions. Next up is Nubias Wilbur, Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. Hey, Coach, how are you, man? Um, I'm good. I feel you. Um, What has C.J. Thorpe meant to – not only the roster now, but at least throughout this time of getting guys acclimated and helping guys out with his experience. Yeah, you know, he he's another he's another guy that's um, you know, the good thing about this offense line is you have experience. You know, you have a lot of guys that played, um, and a lot of guys that, you know, played some big time football. So that's 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 really good. And then for him, he's he's a guy that also um, you know, is buying into the technique. You know, he's, um, you know, a lot of, he's been kind of getting away with uh, his athletic. Well, him because he's powerful in the weight room. Like he's one of the strongest in the weight room. He's, um, you know, uh, conditioning wise, he's always a guy that, you know, it does good in that part, like last station in Matra or um, in, um, spring workouts, winter workouts, he's, um, Step, he has to get technically and, and fundamentally sound, which is huge. And he's buying he's into that. Next up is Tyler Donahue, Lions 247. Good morning, Phil. Good to hear from you. We appreciate it. Yeah. Good morning. Thank you. Getting into specific names because I know you can't. You've enjoyed some uh, recruiting success at the offensive line position uh, of late. Um, just curious on your thoughts on how that is going so far, and, and, and some of the more highly ranked recruits on your board are on the off. Additionally, Tyler Bowen, how much of a boost is he in that process with his history at the position? Yeah, you know, Tyler is, uh, you know, he's awesome. He's helping me. Um, you know, he's just, he's been here and he knows, you know, what we want. And he's kind of just, you know, my guy. I mean, he's he's helping me. We're both young. You know, he's actually younger than me, which is crazy. He's, I think he's 30 or 31, uh, about to be 31. So he's, uh, you know, he's a great guy just to being able to talk with about offensive line. And he's played it. He's, he, you know, I think, you uh, you know, he's definitely an offensive line guy in his background, but I know his goals at the end of the day want to be, you know, a big time coordinator and, and, um, you know, he's just awesome. And, you know, recruiting is fun. You know, I'd be able to build relationships with really good football players and, and help them along the way. And, and, uh, you know, I could see them, you know, there's a lot of great offensive line 
lines out there or um, linemen out there in this um, all, all these classes um, coming young guys and being able to be in that is uh, is huge and just building. one day. Next up is Bob Flounders, Penn Live. Hi, Phil. Thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you. Phil, two, two questions. I noticed you've been asked about Does he kind of factor in your 2020 plans? He's a guy that's had to deal with, I know, a significant injury a couple of years back. Where's he at, and what are your thoughts on Will? Yeah, uh, Will's uh, Will is is awesome. Um, he's a guy that will just send me clips of NFL clips, and I mean, he's always doing extra stuff. Uh, he's, I mean, he built a. He showed me a picture of a um, punching bag he he built in the backyard. Like that's the mentality that you know I love that's the mentality I want my offense line as you know offense season form is the big year for him um, I think he's taking it that way and he wants to be, you know, all Big Ten, and he wants to be drafted. I mean, that's his mindset, and I think he has the ability to. He has great feet, and he just loves a game of football, and I think a lot of uh, organizations will love that in him because that's, that's what you want. You don't want guys that, you know, have been getting through with their talent. You want guys that want to be great, and, and that pushes your offensive line, and that pushes your organization. So... I'm excited about Will. He's a leader, you know, when you talk about the tackles um, and, you know, a lot of guys, you know, believe in him. So it's, it's big. And then Juice is doing awesome. His, I mean, he's been, he was working. He did everything this winter with me and, uh, you know, technique is getting better. He's starting to play in his legs again. And, uh, you know, I, I felt like, I feel like he's a guy that also can play, you know, all five. Um, you know, going into the spring, we were going to put him at center. Um, but he's also has athletic and feet to play, um, you know, uh, tackle. And then he, he, he has the power in his legs to play guard. So he, he's a guy that will play all five and keeping him healthy is my, my job. And I'm going to do everything I can to make that happen and get him fundamentally sound and technically sound. So he's, you know, he's not putting himself in any, you know, any um, harm. Next up is Mike Gross in Lancaster. Mike, you there? There you go. Yeah, I'm here. Go ahead. Hearing me? Yeah. Yeah, we got you. We can hear you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, it made a number of references so far to uh, to technique and guys building up their technique. Is there anything that you teach that is maybe in terms of technique that's going to be maybe different for these guys? Um. Yeah, a little bit. Just you know. I, my mindset is, uh, you know, in the run game, you play in your legs. Uh, you know, you I do a little coil mechanics, which basically I, I bring my hands slightly back on my first step and I bring my hands um, with my second step. So we're always playing in our legs. You know, I always ask everyone. I mean, I can ask all you, do you squat more, you bench more? Most likely you're going to say you squat more, right? So as an offense lineman, let's get them to play in their legs. Let's get them to play in their insteps of their feet. Um, so they're always in maximum power. So being able to do that, to get them to feel that, um, to play in their legs, um, you know, it takes a little bit of time. And then um, when we're talking about pass pro, it's all about, um, you know, staying, you know, I'm a big two hand punch guy. Um, I want to be, um, you know, violent with my hands. I want to get separation. Um, you know, there's a lot of different philosophies out there on punches and, you know, one hand, outside hand. I'm good with that, but till we are great with two hand punches, then we'll do all the other stuff. So, um, that's something that, you know, two hand punches is a little bit different for them, but overall they're, you know, they understand the, you know, always be in power, always be in your legs and stuff like that. So it's been a little bit of uh, adjustment. Next up is Donnie Collins, Times Tribune. Hey Phil, good to see you. Um, good to see you. Anthony Wigan, a uh, guy who, who uh, redshirted last year, 
I, I know they really liked his potential at the, at the junior college level. Uh, what have you seen from him early on, and, and how close is he to being one of the, the 10 guys you're, you're looking for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's definitely, you know, right off the bat, you know, I could tell that he's naturally plays in his legs. Um, he has great leg drive, great leg power. Um, you know, he's a guy that I think can have a very good role for us, and he's thinking that way. Like, he's doing extra meetings with uh, – um, minute and he kind of has that mindset that he wants to get on the field he knows that you know he's been his journey has been different than a lot of other guys going to junior college and and sometimes I like that because that gives him drive and that gives him you know the mindset that he wants to get on that field and um, you know he's been doing everything we ask him and I can see him you know being one of those guys that you're you guys are you know we're playing someone he's in and there's no there's no stopping us Next up is Joe Giuliano of Philadelphia Inquirer. Uh, good morning, Phil. Uh, being from South Jersey, I'd like to ask you some uh, uh, bio information. Um, where did, did you grow up your whole life in Voorhees? Uh, where did you go to high school? And uh, what were your accolades during uh, high school? And did you ever consider Penn State for college? Yep. Um, so my dad was in the um, Air Force, so I actually was born in Texas, but we ended up moving a lot till second grade i moved to south jersey um, i actually moved to Voorhees. um went to crescent uh, elementary school then i went to um, uh, middle school in south jersey and then i went to high school at eastern high school which is the same actually as adam terrafera so um you know for me uh actually when that happened everything that happened i was a freshman so that kind of got my you know also thinking about penn state and, you know, I, we always looked at Adam. We actually read Adam's book as a senior. So that was something that's always been. And he's actually reached out to me, which was cool. And, and someone that I, I actually looked up to and what he did and how he overcome it, you know, kind of just drip, you know, made me, uh, you know, think about it and actually probably motivated me to drive and, and, you know, to overcome a lot of things that I had to overcome. So that was that. Um, accolades, I was... <laughs> Uh, I actually didn't get all South Jersey. I wasn't all state. Um, we had a really good team. We actually won uh, our group four state championship at Eastern. It was the first one ever in 2004. Um, so we won a um, state championship in um, football um, my senior year. And then, um, of course, like I, my story is I wanted to go to Penn State. I actually came here um, actually with a broken foot. I had a broken foot. I came here as going into my senior year um, and tried to come to camp. It was actually a Nike camp and I didn't get offered. So the next day I had to put a boot on because I was actually supposed to be in a boot for the um, for the camp. But I told the doctor, no, I'm going, I'm going, try to get an offer from Penn State. Um, probably didn't do too well because of the broken foot, but I ended up uh, um, not getting an offer and then, um, and then ended up getting an offer late from Florida and I, I went to Florida. So that's my story. And last up, we have Nate Bauer with Blue White Illustrated. Hey, Phil. Um, what, what have your initial impressions been of Mike Miranda? Good. Uh, Mike is, you know, he's, uh, <laughs> he's quiet, um, but, you know, he, you talk about, you know, I kind of know what to talk to him about and he's kind of, he gets open when you, when you finally get to know him and, and, uh, you know, he's a big cooker. He loves to cook. So he kind of, that's kind of like my way of talking to him and getting him to open up, uh, start a conversation, but he's an awesome kid. He loves football. He wants to be great. You know, his role was going to be the center um, in spring and he was going to take it. And then he was also going to have to learn both guards. So he's a guy that can play, you know, all of the inside positions. And, um, you know, he, he's a great kid and I feel like he has an opportunity to, um, you know, play at the next level and keep growing as a player and, and, uh, you know, show as much, you know, positive stuff on film and hit playing all three, I think will help him. And then he's just, he's really strong. I mean, he deadlifts like 600 pounds and he has that too. So overall, a really good player. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us today.